cholesterol, friend or foe? Has there ever been such a scandalous nutrient? Today, I am speaking up in the defense of cholesterol. And you know why? Because I like cholesterol. Cholesterol isn't evil. It isn't vitamin C's evil dark twin. Without cholesterol, we wouldn't be here. I tell you what, without cholesterol, we would all be dead. It should suffice to say that not only does our liver produce the cholesterol we need, but our body, our very intelligent body, has been equipped in every single cell with the ability to synthesize its own cholesterol. Here's why. Cholesterol helps to regulate membrane fluidity. Basically, in every cell, there is a membrane that encapsulates it. Now, this membrane is affected by the foods we eat. The more unsaturated fats we have, the more fluid our membrane will be. The more saturated fats we eat, the harder this membrane could become. Luckily, we have cholesterol that rescues the situation every time. It is the master regulator. It will ensure that your cellular membrane is at exactly the right fluidity. Cholesterol plays a vital role in creating those delightful differences that make women women and men men. And that's the sex hormones. Cholesterol is the building block for estrogen and progesterone as well as testosterone. Where would we all be without cholesterol? Cholesterol is also the building block for stress hormones, the ones that are produced by your adrenal cortex. One of these hormones is aldosterone. Aldosterone is responsible for regulating fluidity and water balance in your body. Another stress hormone is cortisone. Cortisone helps to regulate glucose metabolism so that if you need to fight, you have the glucose to do so. Isn't it wonderful? Cholesterol is amazing. Here's another interesting fact about cholesterol. You know all the hype around vitamin D? Well, before that, get to the building block of vitamin D, cholesterol. It is cholesterol in your skin that is transformed through the UVB rays that touch your skin into vitamin D. This means that cholesterol is essential for your bone health. It is essential for your sexual health, your mental health. Oh, and Let's mention digestion. Bile acids secreted by the liver are produced from cholesterol. Bile acids are that which allows the fats that you eat to be emulsified or to be made into smaller particles so that your body can then digest them and absorb them. Cholesterol is also produced by glands on your skin to protect your skin from dehydration, the sun, dryness, cracking. It's wonderful. It also protects the skin against infections that might affect it from the outside world. So why has cholesterol received such bad publicity? Think of it like this. You get to a crime scene and you see that the police is there. You go to another crime scene and you see that the police is there. And all of a sudden you start making that mental association that makes you think, haha, it is the police that are committing the crimes. This is pretty much how cholesterol has received its bad reputation. In cases of atherosclerosis, cholesterol has always been found present on the crime scene. Well, let's see it this way. When there is damage done in the arteries, we have other nutrients that arrive before cholesterol. Some of these nutrients are minerals such as calcium, which can be very hard. Now, as they deposit inside the arteries and red blood cells float along, the risk is that the red blood cells get cut by these calcium molecules. So cholesterol, which instead is waxy and soft, comes to the rescue, to the best of our body's intelligence, and places it on top of these sharp calcium ridges. This means that there's a nice cushion along which the red blood cells can float along in the arteries without being damaged. Isn't that wonderful? Well, why then are so many people still terrified of cholesterol? Could it be part of this disgusting marketing gimmick that has been used by margarine companies and vegetable oil companies to publicize their products as cholesterol free? It is disgusting what they do. Have you any idea how margarine is produced? 
Trust me, no one would want to eat margarine if it was actually presented to you the way it looks and smells after it's undergone its processing. Stress is one of the main factors that contributes to high cholesterol levels in your body. That's because stress hormones are produced from cholesterol and so your body needs to keep manufacturing cholesterol to keep up with your stress level. So if you're concerned about your cholesterol levels, try relaxing a bit, take a lie down, take some deep breaths, try to find ways of exercising, of getting outside, of doing things that you like to do, whatever it takes to reduce that stress. Another thing that you want to work on is increasing the amount of antioxidants that you consume in your diet. This means more raw vegetables, berries, really vibrant colored fruits. Bring in more powerful antioxidants so that the risk of oxidizing your cholesterol, which is what makes cholesterol dangerous, is radically decreased. I'm not saying now to go out and eat a whole tub of butter, but really don't be afraid of cholesterol. I have met women who have avoided fat and cholesterol like the plague, and you know what the result was? Amenorrhea, i.e. stopping of menses, infertility, skin issues, loss of libido, loss of energy, digestive issues. It's all about balance. Consume healthy foods, wholesome foods. Eat the right kinds of saturated fat. Avoid processed foods as much as you can. Reduce your meat consumption, reduce your dairy consumption, and just go crazy on fruits and vegetables and all those wonderful foods that will support your physical and mental health. Thank you.